Africans were attempting to enslave or eliminate the genius of the other tribes of this land. The blacks were taken to the European countries of Ireland, Spain, Portugal, and Italy to be made into slaves. Now, I want to point something out. Many Old Testament-based brothers and sisters, many Tanakh-based brothers and sisters deny 100% that, that Native Americans could be part of the 12 tribes of Israel. One of my teachers, and I have him on record, and I'll give much of the respect to him, his name is Kohen Mikael, Adah Hashaba Yisrael. He also knows. He also knows the man I'm speaking of. And one of the things to point out is he did a speech in which he said there are Native Americans that keep the days of Shabuot or the Feast of Weeks and Sukkot or the Feast of Booths. Many Old Testament Israelites was like, really? Many Old Testament based Israelites do not agree or teach that there could have been or were Native Americans that were laying claim to be in the 12 tribes of Israel. However, when Columbus came over, we want to go over the fact that he had an act, a guy named Aaron Lopez that spoke Hebrew. Okay. Why are you bringing a Hebrew interpreter if there would have been no Hebrews in where you was going? And why are you also still lying that he didn't know where he was going? I'm sorry, as a person, because even if you watch a Hollywood-based movie called The Discovery, they go over and he shows Queen Isabella, look, this is where the tribes of Israel went. Okay. And he goes into Ezra, so the Apocrypha. So he knew where he was going. They knew exactly where they was going to go to and who they was going to see. The Moors also came from Argentina. The Moors migrated to Morocco and crossed, excuse me, and by crossing the Strait of Gibraltar, they entered Spain in 711 AD. Go in. They were led by a man named Tariq, a Muslim by religion. But some historians say that he was from the tribe of Simeon. Brother well, Death Town. Okay, okay. The first slave ship left from Spain in 1440. The Portuguese set off the slave trade, set off the slave trade, which lasted until 1888. Now, I was about maybe 18 years old when I first heard that the slave first slave ship left from Spain. The first slave ship left from Spain. You understand? And why? Because they were taking people that were already Hebrews that were over there. So when we get over into this university that the brother's speaking about, I will attempt to show the linguistics between biblical Hebrew and what you call Ladino. But that's a whole nother subject. So I'm going to ask the brother to continue reading with the time allotted. Thank you. Gang, there were 448 years of transporting human cargoes from one place to another. The average number given as 12 to 15 million brought to the Western Hemisphere is incorrect. There are over 7.5 million people in New York City alone. The slave trade was as north as Vermont to as far south as Chile. Knowing the fact that in 1891, the Portuguese destroyed their slave records to hide their guilt. We cannot accept their records. Now, another point is when you go to Ezekiel chapter 30, pardon me, Ezekiel 20, verses 36 to verse 38, it said the Most High will correct Israel as he corrected Israel in the wilderness of Egypt. So the wilderness of Egypt is correctly otherwise called the Sinai Peninsula. So that Egypt that Deuteronomy 28:68 is talking about is talking about the Ma'zor Rahim or the double distress by way of ships. Because Ma'zir means distress. It's coming from the root word Zor, which means trouble. All right? These people are the ones who finance the slave trade, man. These people are the ones who sit there and hands down make sure that our Puerto Rican and Hispanic brothers in the projects in the South Bronx living in shit and defecation while they enjoying their mansions in Miami as landlords, man. Amalgamating the European Jew into our thing as the Hebrew Israelite and the rabbinic Jewish coalition. Stop trying to do that when they not even trying to sit there and live among you. I teach in the college, yo. Majority of the students in here are black and Hispanic. The Jewish population of students in here Less than two percent, zero point two percent less. Less than zero point two percent. They don't want their children with the niggas in the space. Shalom.